Welcome back to another Mechmas special. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into Ghost in the Shell. This is actually a very cool anime movie, which you probably have heard of. Um, I didn't hear about it until I was a teenager, and then I just sort of caught it. My aunt and uncle, who I used to visit, would have a lot of movie channels at their house, so it's like whenever I went and visited, I just, you know, you'd, you'd be channel surfing, you'd catch a movie halfway through, and you'd watch it, and then it would start again. So I've seen a lot of movies from halfway through and less movies from the start. But anyway, Ghost in the Shell was one where I was channel surfing, and I think I saw the fight where she's fighting the guy and she stealthed in the puddle and they had finished chasing him through like alleys and stuff and he like fires his machine gun into the puddles and then she like kicks his butt or whatever. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. And I was sort of captivated because I never really watched too much anime. And even to this day, it's, it's like not 100% my thing, so I haven't watched much of it. But I will say Ghost in the Shell is a standout. It's just like... It's just stylistically such an interesting uh, movie, but um, well, and plot wise and stuff too, obviously. But anyway, let's go ahead and start a new game here. So, this is part of our Mech Miss special. We're playing mech games over the holidays to warm our frigid souls. And uh, <laughs> just, just the. I, I, I think what I loved about Ghost in the Shell and about a lot of anime, even though I don't watch a ton of it, the sci fi anime, especially, I think is very cool. It's sort of, nobody portrays technology in an animated style quite like the Japanese. Like, it's it's very cool. Um, the one thing that I've never 100% sort of connected with is the facial expressions they have their characters make in anime, where they make the, like, really big, exaggerated, smiley faces, or, like, the embarrassed face. Like, if you've watched a lot of anime, you know what uh, I'm talking about here. But, uh, yeah, just that sort of... It's it's almost like the the animation style of the faces. I don't always. It's just a different style for me, and like this doesn't connect very well for me. Um, but I love like this looks so cool. Like I, I probably should be paying attention. I guess it's a little too late now. They look like Christmas mechs, making jolly little cranberry Christmas mechs that we're gonna have to go and either destroy or work with. I guess we're working with them. Um, but yeah, like there's there's like classic Japanese like cutesiness in a mech. Doesn't make any sense. A little too silly for me, but still that you know it, you'd be hard pressed to find any technology animated as well as the Japanese could do in the 80s and 90s. So there you go. It is awesome. Um, now I presume we'll be piloting a mech here. Bay proximity. They're tracking us. Any fix on their command center yet? We can't get a visual by satellite, but it's set up in a warehouse. You'll have to get in and shut them down. Roger. The warehouse doors are secured and the building's made out of reinforced steel. The Fuchikomas won't be able to break through it. You're kidding. How do we get in then? Ring the doorbell? There are four key codes needed to enter the building. Take out the targets positioned along the outer perimeter in order to obtain the codes. Roger and out. I'm picking up a lot of dispersed light dead ahead. And judging by the heat emissions, it's a combat signature. All units, prepare to engage. Uh, that was a cool mission briefing. I love the sort of 3D, like, Matrix-style, like, wireframes and stuff. That was uh, really neat. Okay, so what are my buttons here? Okay, so that moves. Okay, there we go. I'm piloting like a little turtle here. No grenades. Okay. Am I killing dudes or like... What am I killing? There we go. Okay, that was definitely a robot. Interesting. I like how you can strafe. That's cool. Oh. Am I supposed to kill that helicopter? Don't 100% know. I feel like a little ladybug. Definitely this is like... This is this is the smallest mech you could physically pilot and still technically be in a mech. You know what it's like? It's like in Flight of the Navigator. It's that little NASA robot, like Huey or whatever, or Merv. Oh, God, what was that little robot's name? The one that the kid snuck... Sarah Jessica Parker introduces the robot, and then the kid, uh... The kid sneaks out of NASA in that robot. That's basically what I'm in now. It's, it's basically like a copy projector with legs. Uh, or photocopy machine with legs. Oh, here we go. Boom! Oh, gotta jump for a reason, son. Hopefully we have infinite ammo. 
I also am unclear how much health I have. There's one armored car, man. Oh, we have a radar. That's actually pretty handy, too. Oh, I can actually shoot down the helicopter. Can I? No grenades. I wish I had grenades. Oh, he's shooting at me. Come and get me, son. Maybe it's not a good idea to attack the Apache helicopter. Look at this little baby. It's like we're, it's a bunch of baby robots fighting. It's all the baby mechs. Oh, there's one. Oh, energy shields are low. Do my shields regenerate is the question. I think they do. Attention. Let me just stand still for a sec. No, they do not. Hey, wait, was I walking on the wall there? Oh my god, you can... <laughs> okay. That significantly changes my gameplay strategies. Didn't realize you could walk on walls. I guess you should always read the manual before you go into combat. I was like, man, what what a what a weak, underpowered mech, but if you can literally climb on ceilings, that's pretty cool. I do gotta find the uh, the last target though. Oh god, this is confusing. Over here? I can't tell if the mechs I actually want to kill show up on radar or not. Oh yep, there it does. Go, 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 don't kill me. Oh my god. Almost failed on the first level. Which sounds ridiculous until you've watched more of my channel, and you'll see it's just part of a pattern. I'm just gonna run for it. Hopefully that guy doesn't even notice me. And that guy, whoa. Pardon me, pardon me. Kill this guy, because he's kind of in the way. Oh, God. Hey, you can double boost. Oh, right in there, man. <laughs> we almost screwed that up. I say we because you guys are equally to blame if I do die. Oh, God. There must be a way to get health, and I just don't know it. Oh, my God. Oh, I should have jumped there. Oh, that's cool how it does, like, a freeze frame if you failed. Look at your shame. Now, do we have to redo the whole level? Or do we get to start at the boss? The fact that they're making me enter my high score makes me feel like I'm gonna be doing this level again. Yep. Oh my god, that's brutal. Alright. Mission one, an assault. Okay, we're gonna skip this. The Bay Area. San Francisco. Dawn. Man, that sucks. You just start the level and instantly take some damage. I think there was a guy over here. There's one. Ah. I'm on a wall, man. Figure that out. Okay, I'm gonna avoid the helicopter. I'm gonna try and use some solid snake stealth tactics here. All right, we got two, two down. I got a lot of helicopters hunting me, actually. Gonna try and not draw their attention. Energy pack acquired. Good. Oh, jeez. Ah. Okay, the jumping doesn't help anything. I think I just took more damage trying to avoid damage there. Maybe, uh, strafing is the way to go. 
It's a fun way to travel across the battlefield, eh? It's like being in a race car. Okay, the last guy should be around here, I think. Yeah, there he is. Oh, I'm dodging. Again, I don't know how effective that was at uh, actually helping me. But whatever. All right, we're on to the boss. Hopefully they let you pow uh, pilot bigger mechs as time goes on here. Hey, oh, I tried to jump and it didn't do anything. He's blinking an awful lot. I'm gonna try and jump this. Hey, oh, there we go. Enemy shields are slowly going down. Oh, ow. Hey, oh. Die, 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 die. Yes. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad for a first level boss. I wish they had a checkpoint if you died at him. Well, you could just. I, I mean, I guess that's the end of the whole level, so maybe it's way too easy to do that. No checkpoint. That's okay. That's fine. Blackwater, the sewer. All units, someone from the enemy command's escaping. Check the marker. Roger. Oh, you're kidding. An underground sewage tunnel? This is gonna be a problem. It's like a maze in there. All units, I'm sending data on the sewer system. You'll have to split up and conduct a thorough search. Roger. Bateau and I'll search the main tunnel. Togasa and the rookie can check out the tributaries. Got it. I'll go in first, Major. Don't worry. We'll flush him out. <laughs> we'll... Flush him out. I don't know if they realized when they translated, but that made a clever pun. I'm sure they realized. What is happening here? I feel like neither of us are hurting one another. Yeah, how do I open... how do you open doors? Did I miss something back here? No. Oh wait, was there something over here? Ah, uh, yes, alright. Yes, you can't open doors. I guess this little mech can't open doors. Well, I mean, I know we're only on level 2, but I'm starting to get the feeling like there's not gonna be any more levels. Or, any more mechs, I mean. There will be more levels, but... As interesting as this little mech is, I really, really, really hope there are other mechs in this game. I guess in most games, they start you off with a pretty weak character and you have to work up to the big ones. I guess you should just, you have infinite ammo and there's no penalty to not just firing blindly constantly. So why not? Grenade acquired. All right. Oh yeah, I can go on the ceiling. I forgot about that. Did I go here? Night vision. It's kind of cool. Doesn't help. I can't see anything. Oh, there's a gap this way. Boy, this is definitely a maze. <laughs> Like, hardcore. No idea where I'm going. Oh, the energy packs give you shields. Okay, that's good to know. Oh my god. How come... How come, like... Enemy robots and turrets and mines I'm killing, but a single dude standing... Like a pistol in the sewer is getting me. Like, what kind of gun is he mounting that he's, like, damaging me? In some crazy... Oh. Like, it's another dude! They even have- they have flamethrowers, they don't even have real guns. It's... shameful. Oh my god. Oh my god! Alright. <laughs> Wait! Oh. God! I, I- I was just like going all over the place trying to avoid them. Shields. The direction indicator. I'm actually totally lost. That little stunt 
Those evasive maneuvers really got me turned around. Oh god. The fact that you can climb walls and go in any direction really does not help your ability to know where you are or what's going on. Okay. Oh my god. That turret started by shooting at me and then turned away. That's like the opposite of good turret AI. Alright. The fact that I'm actually making progress through this sewer is astounding me. Like, I can't believe that I'm actually possibly heading in the right direction. I guess the arrow really does help a lot. Keep you on track. Hey, ooh. oh, we, I think we made it to the boss. I presume, anyway, I have no idea. No friggin' clue. Oh, that does look very bossy. Oh god, ow. Ow, ow. Okay, my evasive maneuvers... I don't think are working all that well. Maybe they are. Oh god, all it's doing is making me dizzy. He's down to like half health. Oh god, and I blowed up. <laughs> Shit. Uh, the boss, it, it's so stressful to fight the boss. I just sort of panic because I know that if I die, I have to do that whole level again. And frankly, I'm not a huge fan of like arbitrary mazes in video games. I didn't find that level particularly fun, I guess. It was a lot of just like, where the hell do I go? So, I don't want to have to do this again, but I guess we got to. All units. I think in like a first person or a third person shooter, often I feel like more in control. This, I feel like there's no way to actually attack your enemies <gasps> without getting hit yourself. I mean, maybe you can, but my skill level isn't there with this like weird wall crawling spider robot. So it's like every time I see an enemy, like, look, like, right there. Like, I just took damage, and I'm taking more. Like, I'm so clunky as a robot that it's like I can't really get out of the way and avoid stuff, so it's, like, simpler to just take a hit, but then it's like I'm just constantly losing health. I don't feel, like, proficient as a as a robot pilot. I don't know. We. Wait, which way is down? Lost it. I'll go through a little slower, but not too slow. Oh my god, I walked right. It's sad when you see a mine and it still gets you. Because it's like, that thing wasn't moving. It had absolutely no AI. It was simply sitting still and it got me. A uh, mech powered by a super advanced cop cyborg woman. Got got by a piece of explosives sitting on the ground with no functional brain or strategic capacity at all. Stupid turret. Ow. See, like, maybe it's better to just avoid this fight. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god. Oh. So I almost wish this thing didn't crawl on walls. Because it, it, it almost, like, makes me more likely to get turned around and lost and stuff. I'm going to let that guy live, because I don't want to actually have to fight him. Alright, we made it to the boss pretty quickly, actually. <sighs> okay, I know he fires missiles that you have to dodge, and then other than that, I kind of don't know what to have to do. Ow. Yeah, we're doing pretty good at wearing them down, though. Ow! Ow! Oh, God. Ow, ow, ow. Fuck. I'll try spinning. That's a good move. Oh, fuck! I wasn't looking at my health. I was looking at his. We had him down to, like, maybe a fifth. Shit. <laughs> All right, we'll try one more time, I suppose. 
see. This feels like an arcade game. Was this an arcade game? Like the fact that you're entering a high score after you die and that the levels are so short and basic, it makes me feel like this was an arcade game. I don't 100% know, but I'm getting a very like arcade feel to it. Short levels, hard bosses, um, entering a high score at the end of every level. Feels like an arcade. I'm like all on edge now. Oh, ow. Ow. <laughs> All right, anyone else? All right. I'd like to make it to the boss with mostly full health, although I know exactly full health doesn't really matter. As long as I'm mostly there, I'll be satisfied. And I just gotta do a little better in the fight. And I think I got it. And actually, I wasn't using grenades. You definitely use grenades. Hello, anyone? Oh. oh, I have maximum shields and lots of shield power up. All right, I am getting a little better at the game. Good sign. I'd like to beat this boss and see one more level. I think that's where I'm at. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, might as well go back for the shields. Um, We'll see how... I mean, I guess it depends how close I am to fight it to beating this boss. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is my last life or I've got one more in me. I'm just going to play it a bit by ear. See how I feel after this. Oh, I hear somebody. Damn it. Wait, there's a guy behind me. You son of a beach. Try this. Ah. Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage trying to. Fuck it. Uh, trying to dodge those shots cost me so much. Unbelievable. Oh, I dodge that, though. Can't actually aim at this guy. There we go. Sort of got the Doom aiming mechanic where you just shoot. As long as, like, you're horizontally lined up with the enemy, then it doesn't matter vertically you are or not. Shoot at the guy up there, man. The guy with the rockets. My guy's trying to, like, shoot into the gutter to kill a mine. Oh, God. The that guy. Grenade acquired. The grenades, I, I gotta remember to use them at the boss, but they might be my saving grace. Okay. Shit. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> Evasion. We evaded him. Okay, grenades. Don't forget the grenades, Jay. I think the grenades worked a miracle on him. He's like almost dead. Go, 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 go. He didn't even bring his laser. Oh my God, grenades are so OP. It's gonna zoom past this guy. Where am I supposed to go? Well, <laughs> he killed the boss and fled the scene. It's like a hit and, it's like a drive-by, a drive by him. All right, one last mission here. Let's see what's going on in Ghost in the Shell. Tanagi. Explosives are concealed in the industrial complex. Locate and disarm them. A booby trap? They're time bombs. If you don't defuse them soon, they'll detonate and set off a string of explosions. The whole place will go up. 
Man, those are bad odds. Let's forget it and bail out of here, Major. Too late. The explosions will destroy everything within a 10 kilometer radius. No time for evacuation. Clear out the bombs or die. Roger. All units, move out and find those things now. Yes, ma'am. Be careful defusing them. Don't mess up, rookie. Don't screw this up, rookie. All right, I won't, sir. All right, I guess you only get to pilot this robot. I will say that is a tad disappointing. Wait, am I supposed to blow them up? Oh god, ow, ow. Okay, 12 more. Oh, and I only have like... Holy shit, the time's running out like crazy fast. Okay. Oh my god, I got eight more of these things? Oh my god, hold on. There's no way I'm gonna get these in time. Oh, there's another one over here, too. Oh, you just gotta, like, go like gangbusters. Oh shit, five more! How's this possible? Four more. I have 16 seconds. Oh wait! I got him. Oh no, now we just get 60 se- oh my god! <laughs> oh, the pressure, man. Oh my god, there's so many of these things. This is kind of a cool idea for a level, though. It's like much more fast-paced than the other levels. I, I dig it, actually. I like that they've mixed it up with the, the levels here. Like, this one is so much more fast-paced, I, I quite like it. Compared to the other levels, this is just like... Oh, I think I ran out of time, or I blowed up or something. Okay, I'll give that one one more shot. Uh, cause I didn't even know what was going on at the beginning, I wasted time. I could go through that a bit faster. Yay. Ooh, we're number one. We've climbed our way to the top of the scoreboard. I like how the scoreboard is like, J, no one, J, no one, no one. It's like, there's a lot of no ones on that scoreboard. Alright, bird view. All right, we ain't got time to mess around here. Gotta go for it, man. Just gunning them down with purpose. Oh, I went the wrong way. Shoot. Oh, man. I've, I've screwed this up already, I think. Oh, God. Get that one. Four more. There's probably, like, an optimal path you could follow to, like, get them all. Then get out in time. Oh my god, move! Move! I'm not moving! I'm pressing the buttons! My guy's, like, stalled. Like, what the- It's- it's glitched out! Oh, my controller turned off! Are you serious? Oh my god! Okay, we gotta- here, you just kill me. Oh, that sucks, because I feel like I had a lot more time this time. Okay, that was really annoying. I think maybe the batteries are low on my controller? I thought something was wrong with the game. I was like, the game glitched! It's not my fault! Not my fault, boss! I don't think, even think they offered me- They didn't even- <laughs> They're like, no high score for that one. They're like, it is, we don't want to insult ya. you. We're not even going to take your initials on that one. They were just so ashamed. Like he killed a 10 out of the 10, then he just gave up on life. Died of a broken heart. Alright. Oh. oh no, not again! Fuck. Okay, my thing... Okay, I gotta get new batteries. Time out. Well, I can't believe that I'm A, still alive, and that B, I did that in 60 seconds. That should be an achievement. Battery swapper. Um, I always keep a supply of rechargeable batteries around. So I usually, like, swap out the rechargeables that have died for, like, new ones. Little, I don't know if that's TMI. <laughs> if that's gaming TMI for you guys. You're like, who cares where the batteries came from? Just play the game. Okay. Once more. This time, nothing's gonna stop us. Nothing's gonna get in our way. Oh, boom. Oh, 
boom, okay. We're gonna go over here and get the group of four. Boom, 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 boom. I think maybe I should have gone for these ones first. Not 100% sure. Okay, and then we just gun it. Over here. Yeah, the, I guess ending on the four would have been better. Instead of like getting them mid battle. I wonder if killing these guys gives me health or something. I feel like I'm, I'm less pressed for time this time. I just more need health desperately. I feel like I definitely am going to die. Ooh, ow. One or two more hits and I'm done for. Shit. Alright, so I can afford to slow down a little. And, uh... Try and take less damage, I guess. We'll give it one more shot. One more shot. So I like- I really like the fast-paced action of this, uh, level. Compared to the others, I just feel like it's this game like just generally it's really hard to not take damage You kind of do have to just go like very slow and methodical um, So I'm gonna try and do a mix this time, but hopefully I don't end up going too slow Okay this time how I'm gonna avoid fighting that guy because there's really no point But I will oh, shoot take this guy out Bastard. Okay, now there's just four left. And get these ones. There we go. Okay, that was that was that was actually sort of like a better uh, path through the barrels. Make sure I take out the dudes too. Never leave too many dudes lying around. Oh, nice try. Damn it. The turrets are really hard to, like, not take damage from, I find. Get six more. Three more. Two more. Okay, they're back over here. Wait, what? Or are they, like, up on top of this? Oh my god, they are, too. Oh no, how do I do that? Ah! Oh, I can't believe I landed that. That's sick. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? This way, all right. 18. You do not let up. Guess I should always dodge left on those guys. Oh shit, they're all up there too. I feel like we are going to run out of time on this one because they're getting like tricky with their placement. And I don't have the wherewithal to actually know where I'm going. Oh god, get up there. Oh my god. Can I start from this angle? No. Ow. Oh my god. Too many... I can't think fourth dimensionally like this. There's too many angles. Oh, we're running out of time and I'm like losing track of my radar badly. 14 and 30 seconds. Oh, stop climbing on the walls, you bastard. Okay, there's some more over this way. You better not be up on a ledge. Nine more. Seven more. Oh, fuck. Where are ya? Okay, four more. Come on, I'll be in the same spot. Eight. Seven. Six. Oh, they're on top of this thing, aren't they? Four. Three, two, oh, I got to one left. Oh, and one killed me. <laughs> Damn it. All right, I think that's enough ghost in the shelling for me tonight. I am a, a shell of my former self having played this game. Um, interesting game. I will say, I think, as I say, the levels feel a little bit like they're very, like it's from an arcade game or something, which means they're short levels with mechanics where it's easy to sort of die and lose health and hard to recover. Like if you look at any 
uh, console game that was never an arcade game. Usually there's like a lot of opportunities for health, the levels are longer, it's a little slower paced. This <laughs> felt uh, usually like there was a bit of a rush to it. Although I guess really that's only the last level, so I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know, it was an interesting game, but um, it was it was a little challenging, oddly enough, despite how short the levels were. Kind of curious how many levels actually exist for this game. Um, you know, is it like there's 10 levels? Because if it's 10 levels, then I say this has to be an arcade game. Maybe there's like 100 levels. Maybe they made really short but really long levels. Or short levels, but a number of them, I mean. I don't know. Um, guys, what do you think of Ghost in the Shell here? This is a game that you knew of and you played back in the day. Also, what did you think of the anime? Um, this really is like a, a spider robot. He's like shooting spider webs and stuff. I didn't even know I could do that. Hopefully you... Maybe I was totally missing the ability to fly around like Spider-Man. Such a very interesting, unique idea for a mech, actually. Like, seeing it animated like this, it is quite interesting. Um, but yeah, did you guys play this game? Did you watch the anime? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know how your your own Mech Miss Vacation is going, if it is going. <laughs> the visuals on this are actually awesome. Like, this is a very cool uh, sort of like opening sequence and stuff. Um, I definitely remember the like big giant mech that she had to fight at the end of the Ghost in the Shell movie. And she like blows her arms out, basically trying to rip the top of it off. But uh, yeah, oh my god, it's like technology and the female body sexualized. Put those two things together, and you've got Japanese anime in a nutshell. <laughs> oh man, I'm just I, I I have to see where this like little opening montage goes. I'm like committed now. There've been so many cool robot moves. Like this robot actually looks so cool in the in this little anime thing here. Whoever is piloting it is way better than I ever was. It goes stealth too? Jesus. Wow. That is some cool anime. Again, I'm not a huge anime consumer, but uh, that's some cool stuff. I think the one thing that I watched the most of, I mean, I've seen Ghost in the Shell a handful of times, not in years, but years ago I did, but also the Animatrix. Uh, which obviously was modeled after many of the classic, uh, you know, sci-fi animes, the Wachowski uh, brothers of the time, sisters now, obviously. Um, they, um, uh, you know, created the Animatrix, which had a lot of, like, really cool stories before, after, and around the Matrix movies, which were a phenomenon. They were a phenomenon. Um, and you can see a lot of Ghost in the Shell in their DNA as well, but yeah. Anyway, guys, as I say, I hope, you, hope you're having a great and jolly mechmas, and uh, tune back in soon for yet another video and yet another game. So until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. We'll see you soon. Peace.